Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question 387. First unique character in a string. Basically, given a string, we just need to return the index of the first unique character which we see in the string. Let's consider this example. Imagine that's the input string. So if we start with the first letter, letter L, let's see if it's unique. Okay, it's not unique because here's the second letter L. So it's not unique. Let's go to the next letter, letter O. O also appears twice. It's not unique. Then, but if we go to letter V, we don't see any other appearances of letter V, so which means that it's unique. And in this case, we just need to return the index of this letter, which is two. This is basically what we need to do in this task. And um, how people would usually solve this question? Probably the majority of people would solve it using the hash map. Let me show you what I mean. So you have a hash map. Um, the key is just to store the all the alphabetical lowercase characters from the English alphabet. And yeah, we can assume that all the letters will be lowercase. So and the and the value will be used to just like you know count how many times each character appears in this string. So after that, you just iterate through the whole string. You update your hash map, you count the, uh, how many times each character appears. After that, you will iterate through the input string again. And in case, if you see that like the particular character um, on, on which you're pointing at the moment has a counter equal to one in a hash map, you just return the character, otherwise you return minus one. So it's like a decent, a decent solution. However, it doesn't give you the best score. It gives you the average score. However, because on this YouTube channel you want to see how to solve the algorithms in the most efficient way, so you will ace your interview after watching these videos, I will show you how to write the algorithm which gives you the 100% score. But even though this approach is also a decent one. But anyway, let me show you how to do it like in a better way. Okay, let me just quickly write the code and I will be with you in a few seconds and we will explain to you everything. Okay, okay, guys, here we go. Let me just explain to you everything. Basically, we start with declaring the integer result. We are going to return it in the end later. For now, it's equal to the maximum value which integers in Java uh, can be. We'll come back to it later, don't worry. So then another one, we call it first occurrence index. Basically, we'll iterate through the whole English alphabet and we will use this variable to basically find at what index each character from the alphabet occurs for the first time inside the input string. Of course, sometimes like some, some characters from the alphabet will not appear in a string at all, but that's fine. So after that, basically we have a for loop. And as I mentioned, we will iterate through the whole English alphabet, only the lowercase letters, because again, this is our assumption that all the input strings will be lowercase. So, and yeah, this for loop, we start with the letter A. We say that it's equal to uh, C. C is less or equal than character Z. So we will go from every single character from A to Z. All right, so the whole alphabet. After it, again, the first accurate index, we calculate at what index does each character occurs for the first time. And we are doing it by calling the Java function, which is called index of. This function is very efficient. That's the reason why we're using it. So the input string dot index of C, so index of each character from the alphabet. In case if this character doesn't appear in a string at all, this variable will become will be equal to minus one because this is how this function, this method basically works. But if if it's not equal to minus one, which will mean that okay, okay, we found the index at what uh, the particular character, the particular letter from the alphabet at, on which we are at the moment appears in the input string. So if we have this index and this index is also equal to the index which another Java building function 
which is last index of uh, gives to us. So if these two indexes are the same, so the index of the first occurrence and the index of the last occurrence, if they're the same, it means that we found the unique character and we can update our result value. We can't return straight away because, you know, we're iterating through the alphabet, not through the string. So if you, I don't know, if we say we found the letter A, which is unique in the input string, but this letter is somewhere in the very end, but after this we will go to letter, I don't know, letter R, and it's like in the beginning of the string. Of course, that's the letter which we need to return. So for now we don't return, we just update our result. So we're using the mass.min function, and there are two parameters. So the first occurrence index of the particular character, which we're considering at the moment while we are iterating through all the all, all the English alphabet characters, and another value of the result, so which initially is equal to the integer max volume. So we are basically iterating through the whole alphabet, and we are updating result, and we are just you know taking the minimum of the first occurrence index uh, from all of the characters. So then in the end, the result will we'll store the volume of the basically of the minimum index, which is unique, which represents the unique character in string. So then once we iterate through the whole alphabet, we will return the result in the end, and that's it. But if the result it will be equal to the integer dot max value, which will mean that we didn't update the result at all. It stayed as it was declared, and which will mean that like there are no unique characters at all in the string. In this case, we will just return minus one. Otherwise, we return result. So simply as that, guys. Okay, I promised you that we are going to get hundred percent. Let's actually check if we will get hundred percent. And we got 100%, guys. Here we go. Simply as that, guys. Okay, I think that's it for this tutorial. Guys, remember, a lead code today keeps unemployment away. So make sure you do lead code and practice as much as you can. And, you know, challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question efficiently or not. And, guys, in order to support me, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Good luck.